As millions of people increasingly worry what the future holds in store for themselves, their children, the human family as a whole, one man travels the globe assuring his lecture audiences that all will be well, that justice and reason will prevail. In the midst of today's chaos and strife, British artist and futurist Benjamin Krem speaks with total conviction, not about the inevitability of a troubled world, but about a brilliant new civilization in the making, inspired and guided by a group of highly evolved spiritual teachers who are now among us. At their head, says Krem, is the world teacher, Maitreya, who embodies the aspirations and expectations of all people, religious and non-religious alike. Benjamin, who is Maitreya, and why do you refer to him as the world teacher? Maitreya is the head and leader of that group of advanced individuals known as the Masters of Wisdom and the Lords of Compassion. He holds the office in that group of world teacher, and so he is the world teacher. And every age has a teacher, and Maitreya has, before this time, manifested himself through different individuals who were the teachers for a given time. He manifested himself through Krishna, through Shankaracharya, and 2,000 years ago through Jesus. From the baptism to the crucifixion, Jesus was overshadowed by the consciousness of Maitreya, who embodies what we call the Christ principle, the Christ consciousness. He is so advanced and so pure, he can actually embody in his own being uh, divine principle, the principle of love, which is also the principle of consciousness and of evolution itself. So he is the Lord of love. So his spiritual teachings aren't meant for any one group? They're meant for everybody, for the whole of humanity. He does not come as a religious teacher, although all the religions expect him under one name or another. Christians await him as the Christ, expecting the return of Jesus Christ, through whom he acted 2,000 years ago. Buddhists await him under his name, foretold to come now by the previous Buddha, Gautama Buddha, who foretold that at this time would come into the world another Buddha, Buddha like himself, enormous stature, who, per, whose personal name would be Maitreya, and who would inspire and guide humanity into the creation of a brilliant golden civilization based, as he put it, on righteousness and truth. That is the task of Maitreya in this coming age. Jews await him as the Messiah, Hindus as Krishna, Muslims as the Imam Mahdi or the Messiah, depending on their particular sect. These are all names for one and the same individual, the head of our spiritual hierarchy. Are his teachings also for people who aren't part of any organized religion? Indeed, he has said, I have not come to found a new religion. I have not come to create followers. I have come to teach the art of self or God realization. He says, the self, with a capital S, the self alone matters. You are that self, an immortal being. He equates the self with God, with the divine. And he says our problems, our, our difficulties in life are due to the fact that we identify with everything other than the self. For example, he says, ask yourself, who am I? And you will find you're identifying either with this physical body as a self, which it is not, and therefore you suffer the infirmities and limitations of the physical body, or you identify with your feelings, your sensations, your energies, and think that is the self, which they are not. They are not, no, no more immortal than the physical body. Or you identify with the constructions of your mind, and you take that to be the self. But that is only memory. That is only the creation of thought forms in the, in the mental body. None of these are the self. He says the self stands behind all of that, reflects itself through the human soul, at the soul level of existence, and that soul reflects itself once again on the physical plane as the man or woman in incarnation, with a physical body, emotional, sensation, and feeling body, and a mental body. And these are the vehicles of the self. 
And the self, he says, simply observes. It doesn't act. It simply observes through the vehicles. But if you identify with the vehicles and take that to be yourself, then the self gets trapped in that vehicle. And hence the limitations in your physical life, your emotional life, or your mental life from this trapping of the self, which should be free to move in and out uh, with total freedom of these vehicles. Are there specific things we can do to lead to the realization of this self? Maitreya says that the simplest path, his path, is to practice three things, three practices, which he says are very easy. Well, they sound easy, they're really very difficult, <laughs> believe me, but they are the way to go. One is to practice honesty of mind. You know, he says, almost everybody, thinks one thing, says something else, and does something else again. We, w there is no direct line from what we think to what we do. So he, ha he says you have to, to create harmony in yourself, you have to, th to be honest in your thinking and to say what you think precisely. Second, sincerity of spirit. He says the best way to think about this is to Think what we mean when we say we have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. When you have a heart-to-heart -heart talk, you're talking from the, the center of yourself, and the center of yourself is the self. And if you're true to that center of yourself, and don't try to imitate people, other people, however you know, noble or, or gifted they might be, but be yourself, and don't try to influence other people or manipulate other people, but be true, sincere, heart to heart in everything you do, and also practice what he calls detachment. That is detachment, not in the sense of standing apart from, from life, but from your identification with the physical body, with the feeling body, with the mental body. If you do what you do with detachment, then you will become aware of the self. And the more, excuse me, the more awareness you have of the self, the closer you get to self-realization, which he says is the goal of our life. That's what we have come into life for, to realize ourselves as the self, but on the physical plane, as well as being the self you know, behind all creation, to be that same divine being on the physical plane. And the proof that it can be done is the fact of the masters. Every single one of them is a self-realized being. And if they can do it, we can do it.